what's up YouTube? I uh, just want to go over some new uh, hustle that I've been doing the last uh, month uh, and it's been pretty lucrative uh, and it's called uh, Get Around. It's basically a car sharing service. Uh, it's almost like Airbnb uh, but for your car and it's a great way for basically you know, passive income. Uh, so I want to review with you the app and some of the features and how it actually works. Uh, but I discovered this about a month and a half ago uh, in this really simple process. Basically, uh, you sign up on their website, they contact you. And what you have to do is you have to set up a uh, installation for your car. So they basically put in uh, an immobilizer, uh, like a stop start for your car, which you can access through your phone. Uh, and basically, you can't... Um, a renter can't start your car unless they actually uh, have rented your car through the platform. Uh, even yourself, you can't start your car unless you use the phone uh, and then click the unlock button. So it's a great uh, safety feature, but I'll go more into that in a second. Uh, but I'll show you here on the app. Um, it's pretty nifty. So when you start it up, uh, it brings you to this page. Uh, you click on cars, it shows you uh, which cars are listed. This is my car. Uh, you click on that, and there's a few things here. You know, my car is actually being rented at the moment. Uh, so, but it shows you all these important features here. First of all, the battery level. You know, The uh, device they install in your car does uh, drain your battery over time. So you have to make sure your car is being rented or you're running it uh, at least you know, once or twice a week to make sure your battery doesn't die. Uh, next thing you can see is the fuel levels. You want to make sure when you rent out your car, it's at least 80% full. Uh, and when they return it, they want to return it at the same amount that uh, they picked it up at. If they return it with less, then Get Around automatically uh, reimburses you for um, the money, uh, the gas that wasn't filled up. Uh, so first of all, you want to create a new inspection. I'm not going to click it right now because someone's being, uh, renting it. But that just is for your initial, you take photos of the interior and if there's any damage on your car, uh, exterior or interior. And then if you click calendar, it shows you, this was my month of October. All these dots show where it was booked. So it's pretty booked up. I mean, weekends for sure, some weekdays. Weekends rent more. Uh, but if you click on a, a space, say on the, this 27th here, you can add a block. So say you needed the car Oh, it's really simple. You just add it from the time start to end, say till I needed the car from nine to 11, you know, click block, submit. Uh, it's that simple. And now the car's blocked off if I need to do whatever, get groceries or something. If I decide I don't need it, I could always just click on it and then delete the block. It's that simple, you know. Um, and then if I go back, you can also file a claim on this page. You know, the thing with get around compared to other uh, car sharing services is they take uh, 40% out uh, off the top of the reservation. So, uh, you know, you are you get the 60, but that, that, that 40 they get, it covers, uh, you know, the security, you know, the f app features. Uh, they have to make money too on their end. They, basically, this immobilizer that they put in your car, uh, for me, it was free, but I know in some instances, there could be a $90 uh, installation fee, so you have to check before that. Uh, but right now the location on the car is, is blocked because the a renter has it and for their privacy sake I I can't know where they are basically uh, but here's the lock and the unlock feature uh, say a renter locked the keys in and it couldn't get it or something for some reason or whatever I can unlock the car myself uh, but if if it's a day off and and I just want to go for a drive I have to click unlock before or else it won't even start the car I can get in the car I can turn on the, the electricity, but I won't be able to drive away. I have to click unlock first uh, to immobilize the car. And then when I'm done, I can lock it uh, you know, regularly with the key fob, but then also I have to click lock on the phone app or else it runs a risk of uh, maybe if someone were to say, copy your key, they could get back to your car and then uh, you know, drive off with it, which I don't think would happen, but uh, you have to be safe. Uh, if I go back, uh, let's see here to uh, reservations, it shows, you know, first off, it's gonna show what's the active reservations. Right now, someone's renting my car, it's a Monday, I'm renting it from today till tomorrow, so 24 hours, and I'm getting paid $50.90. Uh, you know, uh, like I said, during the weekdays, uh, you don't get as much. 
let's see if I if I click on it let's see it's gonna show right that my earnings how long uh, they have left uh, I can contact them if I click the phone I can text them or call them or if I have a problem I can click contact get around for support um, it also shows your upcoming ones you know, I have one in a week and uh, there's gonna be more before that but uh, you can see and I have one for the well, same person uh, whatever for Thanksgiving they're coming back yeah so but if you click history you can click on trips you know cancel trips and this and recently ended trips uh, and then you can get a more breakdown of, of uh, what happened there you can see uh, well what happened here well <laughs> they reimbursed me pending a few times I don't know why so many times but uh, this was their last trip. You know, they started with 99, they gave it back 73, so I was reimbursed 1598. Uh, and there's the miles included. And then if I click start, it shows the photos uh, that they took initially, you know, of the car. If there's any damage, there was none. Safety, no reports issued. And then they have to take an end trip photos too. Uh, and then if there's damage, and also they have to take a picture of the keys, you know, make sure it's there. And then you can leave them a review and they can leave you a review. Um, but uh, it's actually been really, uh, you know, I've literally done, just had to clean the car, you know, make sure, clean the footwells, get sand out or, or anything, leaves if there are much, but they have to return the car in, uh, you know, basically the same condition they picked it up or else you can claim that against them. So you can see just in October, I've already made $1,064.81. Uh, really those weekends that's what's gonna get you most of the money because you can see this Monday to Tuesday it's 24 hours it's, I make $50 um, and then get around makes a cut of that as well um, like I said they get 40% but on the weekdays you know each d weekday like Friday Saturday Sunday it's easily like a hundred dollars each day so uh, that's the one thing you know I know Turo is another popular car sharing platform uh, and you can price your own uh, you know, listings and change your pricing. But the downside with Turo is a lot of it's on you. You have to install your own uh, GPS in the car. Uh, you have to pay for that service. And then you have to meet the uh, renter every single time for pickup and drop off. You know, With GetAround, they just use the app. They're able to pick it up, drop it off, and you can be doing something else. So it's much more passive. Uh, and I think that's the price you have to pay for their cut. You know, they get 40%, but it also makes it much more passive on you uh, because your time is important. You could be doing other things to make money at the same exact time. Like what I do is I'm door dashing during the day while someone's taking this car and I'm you know, doubling up on these profits here. You know, got to hustle, got to make that money, you know. Uh, but get around's great, you know. I would give it a shot. Uh, check it out in your local area see if it's listed right now they're in probably I think 15 to 20 cities in the United States so and you can also petition to have it in your city uh, but check on the apps see if it's in your area uh, and let me know if it works out for you also let me know if you got any side hustles I'm always willing to try something new to make that money uh, but if you like this video please uh, you know like and subscribe hit the notification bell uh, and I'll talk to you later bye